Aisha, tell me how this pilot program came about. Why was it decided that this would be something that is worth trying in Newark? Sure, I think, look, since we started our headquarters here in Newark in 2007, we've really been looking for creative and innovative ways to uh, really maximize our, our social and economic impact in the city of Newark. Um, and so we, we've been developing over the last several years um, a range of, of innovations and programs that do just that. But I think, you know, we all know that, that things have been pretty challenging since the pandemic hit. And so we wanted to really kind of think outside of the box about, you know, ways that we can support new workers that would have otherwise been left behind. So uh, that's that's where 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 the idea came from. And we wanted to be very targeted to uh, college students and residents in need. Yeah, how are people selected to participate in the program? So we've been collaborating with um, uh, Rutgers, New Jersey Institute for Technology, the YMCA, and uh, Focus uh, Community Center. And so we're, we're really leaning on them. We gave them criteria to um, really ensure that we were targeting those residents and students that were most in need. What was the response you received from businesses who decided that they will participate in this? So, you know, I, I think similar to Newark Working Kitchens, uh, small businesses have just been tremendously grateful and excited to participate in our programs. Before we launched Newark Working Kitchens, we had a Lunch Out Wednesday program where we incentivized, incentivized our employees to kind of get out of our building pre-pandemic and patronize local businesses. So we had already started to, to build a rapport and a relationship with many small businesses and restaurants. Um, and so we folded many of those restaurants into this initiative and we expanded it significantly because it's beyond food, right? So we have groceries so, so um, participants in the Audible Bucks program can get access to fresh fresh produce. We have pharmacies. We have a local Black-owned bookstore. And how does this program fit in with some of the other efforts as a whole uh, in terms of Audible's commitment to the city of Newark, which you touched on briefly, but uh, if you could expand on that a little bit. Sure. I think um, what we're trying to really do is have measurable change. We're really trying to focus on uh, economic empowerment, racial justice, equity. And so you'll see a range of programs that we've done and more to come that are really underscoring just that. And Aisha, if the program is determined to be successful, is there a chance that it will extend beyond a pilot run? That's precisely uh, the idea, right? Um, how can we use this pilot to inform something that we do more permanently? How can we use this pilot and build off of some of the work that's happening in the city of Newark under Mayor Baraka with their guaranteed income program? How can we use this to advance policy changes? So it's not just a one and done. We're really looking to um, ensure that Audible Bucks can be a pilot that serves for similar uh, measurable interventions in the future. Aisha, thanks so much. Very good to talk to you once again. Great chatting with you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.